decision you have can be documented and a decision is made as to the evidential threshold. It will not be prudent to talk too much about the case in a, in a scenario like this one. When we are not...
know what you have and what has warranted you to come and demonstrate here. Who is your spokesperson? Yeah. Uh, tell us so that we can know. Thank you. Tell us. Yeah. Uh, Okay. 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 And who are presented by this uh, uh, who are here right now? We have millions of Kenya crying loud because of this. Um, you can uh, you clearly know that we have a case. Uh, you have a case you are handling right now of one Jeff Mwathi, the deceased, which which uh, which uh, which he died untimely death, and which was very crucial. We are here not only to seek but to demand justice and to hear what you have to tell us. We know that right now we are living in a Kenya by a case will be presented to the police, two or three days, it disappears. Uh, in the year 2009, this the same uh, DJ Fatso had a similar case and it vanished. We never got the same report. Uh, recently, DJ Fatso went through and started a contribution, a fundraise for lawyers. He had raised, actually by the time we had confirmed, he had raised around 600,000. And this 600,000 was meant for lawyer. The people who contributed are the fellow musicians. And it was through a WhatsApp group. Now, he went again to post that he is running the streets and in towns, and he will win. So. We are here to know, because if we can remember very well, he said that he's not aware of any case that uh, concerns murder with him, but right now he's prepared with lawyers. What is he defending or who is he defending? Another thing, uh, he said that he was not presently in the house. Yesterday, the CCTV footages were out, and it clearly shows people in, walking in and out of the premises. And among them were the friends whom he had accompanied to his house. Uh, we are here to know why he went to report a matter of unknown person and yet he had been with this person for more than two years we are here to know why did he say that why did he went just immediately to report the person after missing two hours and we know normally it takes 72 hours to know that this person has really uh, has totally gone missing we are here to know why is it that the other time that we received videos and photos of the house the, the, the window panes and the windows were intact. But recently, we have seen one. One window which has been turned, uh, which has actually been tampered with. We want to know who tampered with it and why. And we want to know why is it taken as a suicide case whereby the person that was calling the mom was not even seemingly to be a, a, a person who is oppressed or who is depressed. A person who was very cheerful and who was very promising, full of life. We are here to know why is it that we are being provoked online by one, the DJ Fatso, by telling us that we are doing nothing, we are backing, we are making noise. What noise are we making? And we are crying, we are not crying because of food prices, we are not crying because of any subsidies, we are not crying because of anything else. We are not even asking for jobs, we are asking to know. Who is behind the killing of that young soul? And if it was can suicide, the questions be brief yes. The questions so okay, that we, I can we respond need, to we them. Need, we need to know yeah. what is happening. Just simple and clear. Yeah. yeah. As you are aware, there are investigations that are ongoing. Yes. Yes. At this stage, we cannot disclose what uh, what has been established. But when we reach the right time, the file will be presented to ODPP before a decision to charge is made. So we are still at the process of compiling evidence and if at all any one of you, because you seem to be having a lot of information concerning the incident, what we shall require from you is to cooperate with the police who are investigating the matter so that whatever you, uh, information you have 
can be documented and a decision is made as to the evidential threshold. It will not be prudent to talk too much about the case in a, in a scenario like this one when we are not willing to take that evidence to the investigating officer for it to be packaged into evidence for purposes of being used in court. And for the, for the point you have raised concerning the threats from the person you are insinuating is the key suspect, we shall require you to make a report to the police in regard to that threat so that it is investigated independently away from the death that is being investigated. Because if we, miss, we mix the issues, we are going to miss the point. Yes. Amongst you, do we have any person who has recorded or has gone to the police to record a statement and he has been denied? No. Uh, are you willing to go to the police and record statement? Yes. Because that is what I'm advising you. Yes. To go to the office that is investigating this matter, yes. with the, which is DCI Kia, uh, is it Gidurai Kimbo? which is investigating, Kasarani. You go to the, to the DCIO, record your statement. If he's, he declines to record the statement, you have the right to come to these headquarters to demand that you need your statement to be recorded. I think I've addressed your concern. Thank you. I'm personally yes. working with it, and I will promise you that I will be in this forever. And I urge you, when demonstrating, or when you want to pass any information anywhere, provide... Uh, Proceed to exhibit some civility the way you've come to these headquarters. You've been peaceful, you've been willing to hear from us. Thank you. Okay, we have the question that you have not answered. Yeah. You have not answered my question. One question. Which one? You have not answered as to why there is no any suspect that is arrested. You know, we do not put the cart before the horse. We need to package the evidence first so that in the event that the evidence is pointing on a specific person, we shall round that we shall arrest that person if it is a group we shall round them together to arrest with a view of arraigning them to to the court for proper processing remember the issue of the 24-hour rule we don't have to preempt the arrest then we lack where to take those people in the event that we are not ready to prosecute them thank you yeah so, so let far. us follow the due process and I assure you something is going to be done thank you sir yeah. Ah. Thank you. Quite really. Sir. Yeah. How long will you take? Yeah. To take how long? The investigation. The investigation to be to be sincere with you, there is no stipulated time frame for an investigation to be taken. And you understand the complicity of this matter. It is not a crime that is likely to have been committed by one person. So let us take some time so that when we take someone to court, we take him based on evidence and not based on public pressure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh,